Hey everyone, uh, this one's um, kind of one of those videos, uh, I don't know if you guys read the description in my last video, but um, let's see here, I got hit with a virus somehow, uh, it was at like 3.30 this morning, wasn't even on my computer, um, which is really strange, uh, somehow somebody has managed to infest my computer and sent out uh, emails to all of my contacts um, somehow through my computer. I have no idea how it happened but um, yeah just a little bit on the strange side and then um, also been making a few decisions as towards what or I'm a little bit weary about because uh, I don't know if they were the right decisions or not. Um, so let's see here this is one of them um, I'm pretty sure that this one was a good decision uh, this one was a trade off of blade forums um, and I'll get into it once I get this box open once again using the dragonfly to open it up and this is the more recent dragonfly um, haven't I've been uh, watching can't remember the gentleman's names videos lately but he's been talking about how well serrations work um, on cardboard and stuff like that uh, so he also did a sharpening video to show how to sharpen serrations um, I'll get you guys that uh, his name at a later video date uh, I want to say that it was solo knives um, but I'm not sure I'm not positive I don't really want to you know be unclear about that but um this one I, I'm I'm pretty positive that I'm gonna be happy with this because uh I haven't really or should I say I saw one of these on blade forms one day I tried trading for it uh it was a different different type um but the gentleman wanted I guess way too much for it um and wasn't really willing to work with anybody I don't think that he really traded it or I don't know what he did with it to tell you the truth I just stopped watching it um, I think it was on blade forms it might have been on knife forms but he was being pretty picky about what he wanted um, towards everybody because a lot of people hit him up on it and wasn't getting people weren't getting responses and I don't know but uh, sorry about all the rap Super tape this thing. Um, don't know if any of you guys know uh, of a gentleman by the name of Will Zeramano. This is his custom folder flipper. Um, this is called the Azrael or Azriel. Um, I don't want to mispronounce his name, but I th I'm pretty sure that it's Will Zeramano, Z-E-R-E. -E. Uh, hold on one second. Um, shoot. I lost the page I was looking forward on. Uh, but I believe it's Z-E-R-M-A, or M-E-N-O. Um, wow, that thing's really, really smooth. I was gonna. I was kind of expecting it to be like my hinderer, um, but the hinderer was very, very tight. This thing's just butter smooth. It's a lot smoother for sure. Let's check the thumb studs. Whoa! This thing's a beast. But um, the other one that I was looking at was just like a. Um, smoothed out kind of an ugly puke green scale um, this is a, a titanium uh, pocket clip is titanium um, he is a custom knife maker uh, you can look them up um, they're pretty hard to come by because I've been ever since the first time that I saw one of his knives I wanted one and um, so I immediately started looking him up on the internet and uh for a custom this thing this thing goes for about 265 bucks uh i don't know exactly the gentleman that i traded 
uh, here's what I traded. I traded um, my new paramilitary 2 along with um, my Spyderco Kiwi and uh, my Spyderco Cat second. Um, so he he basically we kind of he he said that he paid two hundred and sixty five dollars directly for this um, and that it was unused um, never cut anything never EDC'd anything mint condition uh, you can tell that it's got the Bose heat treat uh, it's 154 cm blade steel so very good blade steel um, actually he said that he wasn't quite sure uh, Will works with I guess both S30V and 154 cm in his blades so he wasn't positive and um, he didn't necessarily want to quote uh, the ones that I've found for him on the internet um, say that most of his blades are 154 cm so definitely a larger knife um, it's supposedly about a three and a half to four inch or 3.75 inch blade um, on the cutting edge so it's probably almost four inches close to it uh, as towards a size comparison let's see here here's the spider co dragonfly and then here is my Chris Reeve large Sabenza. So definitely a much, much bigger knife. Um, as you can see, a very thick uh, titanium. The steel is just massive, and those thumb lugs are huge. Why I was wondering why I wasn't getting a very good purchase. Um, as you can see, it's got the Chris Reeve um, frame lock as well. Very popular nowadays. Um, all the screws are very nice, well built. It is a full flow through design and I was glad that I came across this one and didn't end up trading for the other one because let's see if we can get this to focus those are black and gray uh, G10 scales or scale very well grooved absolutely awesome knife so this thing I'm definitely throwing in with the rest of my grail collection comes super sharp I'd like to cut something but I don't necessarily want to in case if I ever have to trade this I wanna or sell it um, I want that original original grind this point is super sharp very very comfortable grip I don't know why anybody would ever want to release this thing um, you know maybe they just looked at it got bored with it you know had it for a while or whatnot but the gentleman I got it from said that he had only had it for a couple of weeks and uh, so yeah Will Zermano custom and there's his uh, there's his um, I don't know what you'd call that his shield with his uh, initials guess it could use a little bit of a cleaning but very very nice knife guys um, if you like them look them up uh, it's Will Zermano Azrael or Azrael uh, it's A-Z-R-A-E-L and um, that's just the name of this knife this particular knife so in case if you have a tough time finding um, I believe he's pretty fair, fairly new because there aren't a whole lot of web pages that uh, have his name or his customs available and um, so I don't know if anybody has any more information on this gentleman uh, please uh, comment and let me know oh yeah let's check out the blade centering it's excellent there's that tip it's super sharp nice pillars and uh, yeah that's about it Thanks guys for watching and uh, please comment. Thanks. Bye.